Is winter testing in Formula One important or not? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We just finished uh, Bahrain testing after Barcelona, I think it was three days, uh, both circuits. And the real question is why Barcelona and why Bahrain? Barcelona is a circuit where you can find high speed and low speed corners and, and fast and slow section. A very, very different corners. It's a really good baseline for every team in Formula One. Testing have been done in, Bar in Barcelona since forever. The only thing in Barcelona is that in the winter you can get cold weather. That's why Formula One team has decided also to go testing in Bahrain. Saying that it's not straightforward. Bahrain you can get sandstorm like we did see a little bit on day two and very hot temperature during the day which is not necessarily representative of what you're gonna get in the season but it's a very different circuit from Barcelona. So very interesting to follow the winter testing there with the new cars. I don't know what you think of the new cars. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what you want to speak about also you like and you subscribe that'd be very nice but winter testing yes who is the fastest who is the slowest is winter testing important yes it is it is for it's much more nowadays for reliability where you go run 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 and this year because it's a change of change of regulation correlation with the wind tunnel i think that was key for the teams to make sure that what they see in the wind tunnel is actually happening on track and then reliability making sure you get plenty plenty of laps that's why you see the teams swapping the day between two drivers because if you are doing one day with one driver and you want to do 100 plus laps the driver starts to be really tired at the end of the, the day and therefore you kind of lose some track time if you want whereas if you do morning and afternoon different drivers if you can do the swap of drivers uh, position and sit quick enough you actually optimize your day. Uh, I think Mercedes started doing that a few years ago and then everyone kind of copied Mercedes in doing that and it's um, it's actually working really well. So yes, who is the fastest? That's a question. What do you think? Again, make sure that you leave a comment on who you think is the fastest. I believe that Red Bull has the strongest car ahead of Ferrari, which is good. Everyone likes to see a Ferrari at the front. Mercedes has been struggling a little bit. Uh, they brought a huge update in Bahrain, but with almost no side pods. Uh, quite quite interesting to see the car that way but they've been struggling a little bit bear in mind that last year same time they were actually struggling as well in Bahrain testing they were world champion and Lewis almost was world champion as well as driver so Mercer is going to be there after that I think McLaren looks good McLaren was very good in in Barcelona maybe a touch less in Bahrain but Bahrain is, is a very very specific track so don't read too much in there then it gets a little bit more complicated to see who is who I think Alfa Torre look good someday not so much other days same for Aston Martin and Alpine I think those guys are kind of in the mix then I see Alfa Romeo but Alfa Romeo has been struggling with a lot of reliability issue gearbox twice in two days over the last few days they haven't done much lap in Barcelona at all and in Bahrain they struggle and then at the back uh, Haas and Williams even though Kevin Magnussen did the fastest lap on day two in Bahrain bear in mind that they were running later than anyone else so cooler track time makes a big difference and no traffic so let's see maybe I'm wrong but I guess that's uh, that's my picking order so Red Bull Ferrari Mercedes McLaren then kind of a mix Alfa Torre Aston Martin Alpine and then Alfa Romeo Haas Williams but that, that was uh, that's going to change a lot during the year big updates on the car we're gonna see huge improvement a uh, big step forward or backwards it's gonna be interesting another big topic that we need to speak about is something that i cannot even say properly is po poisoning but well, bouncing on a straight line let's call it bouncing it's much easier so bouncing on a straight line we've seen teams with a lot of issues it's done to it's due to the bigger diffuser on the formula one car and the car being run so low the floor sucks the ground but then it kind of creates that big bouncing feeling or big bouncing that we could see on the car i'd never experienced something like that but i can tell you one thing in the car it must be really awful it must be uh, a lot of headaches just feeling rough in a straight line where it's normally the place where you can drink in the race or you know breath but right now if it bounces like that it's gonna be it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard some teams have the issue some others don't but definitely something uh, something interesting so yeah race one coming uh coming very soon qualifying will give us much more of a packing order but uh, that's where i see it is so enjoy the grand prix and make sure that uh, you leave me a comment after the Grand Prix so we can talk about things that you want to see, want to hear. And um, I'll be happy to uh, be with you as always.